for the very funny Phil K, everybody. Yeah. Keep it going for Joseph Gomez, everybody. Yeah. It's a very tense man right there. <laughs> He's got a lot going on in, in the area. That's why his eyes are black. It's not because he got punched, it's just gravity. <laughs> I thought that'd be funnier. I don't know. I've been wanting to make fun of you since I've seen you. I, mi I miss you, man. <laughs> And keep it going for Chandler back there with the beard and like letting everyone know how big his beard is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's like, yeah. He, he said he's a ZZ bottom and he was emotionally unavailable and then he goes and stands right next to the dude that wants to fuck him. You know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm done fucking with people now. Uh, no, uh, I was, this is my third or fourth time here. Give it up for yourselves. This place is always amazing. It's always different people. And you're always awesome. You pay attention. You're attentive. I love it. And uh, I, w I was here one time, though, and a dude did a joke about toxic masculinity, and I felt personally attacked. <laughs> yeah. Probably because he looked right at me, and he's like, <laughs> I was wearing cowboy boots. <laughs> yeah. And I, I wasn't white, and I was born in the 80s, so <laughs> I get it. But I, I look like I take no for a maybe. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I know that no means no. I was raised by women. You know? Like my dad died when I was little. So, <laughs> so I was raised by women. Uh, I didn't know how to cuss. You know, they didn't teach me that. So I used to run around. I tell people to shut the damn up. <laughs> Why don't you shut the damn up, you ass bitch? <laughs> My older cousin's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I was like, whoa, teach me your ways. Like, How do you put words together and so smooth? Like, no, it, it was, I figured it out. You know, I listened to rap music and I learned. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I learned so much from rap music, guys. But uh, no, but uh, yeah, I moved in with my girlfriend on uh, Halloween. Exactly. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. <laughs> Do you ever break up with somebody in September and then move in with them October 31st? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, it, it was it was pretty stupid, but but no, uh, I it's the first time I've ever lived with a significant other, and I didn't know it was gonna be like this. <laughs> like before we lived together, she used to do this thing that I loved. It was called sucking my dick. You know what? <laughs> yeah, she used to do that shit. Uh, we moved in, and it was like. Not so much anymore, you know. So, so she get. Uh, I treat, I treat the way she treated blowjobs, uh, the way that I would cook, you know. Like, I pretend to suck at it so I don't have to do it. <laughs> yeah, like I got a pretty teethy blowjob for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. So next time it's my turn to cook, I, I made her a well done steak. <laughs> she was pissed. Like, yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Or actually, it doesn't, does it? <laughs> yeah. uh, she, she also has this, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's a robe? As I call it, a cock blocker? <laughs> Dude, she wears this robe, we are not going to fuck. It is disgusting. It looks exactly like the, com <laughs> the, com the, the sock I used to come into when I was 16. You know? <laughs> it's like white yellow, super crispy for some reason. <laughs> yeah, she got it from her mom too, so. This rope has been disappointing men since 1986. <laughs> yeah, she actually cut it up into pieces when she got a new one and said, here's some jizz rags, bitch. <laughs> I was like, well, I, mean, I gotta put it somewhere, you know, so. So no, but uh, she did call me fat though, not that long ago. And it was, I mean, you know, she's not wrong, but. I'm all right, but uh, I figured she was right though, because uh, we were fucking and she was on top and I lost my breath. <laughs> yeah, she fucked the wind out of me, guys. So. Yeah, she she did. She did a good job. But uh, no, it, in case you didn't see where this was going, we broke up. <laughs> yeah, we moved in on Halloween. She doesn't suck my dick and she called me fat. So I. I we, we call it quits, so now I'm, uh, it's, a, it's in a weird 
spot where you're not necessarily living anywhere. Some people call it homelessness, you know. I call it uh, living in the room I grew up in on a bed where my feet hang off the end and uh, sleeping next to the dusty Christmas decorations. <laughs> oh, I, come on. I, you, know, you know those weird little Christmas trees that are made of porcelain that have the little lights that you can take out and shit? Yeah, one of those is next to my bed. <laughs> That's just the way things are going, but no, it, it's good. We were both... Uh, Glad that it was over, and uh, so now I'm pushing 40. I'm overweight, and I'm technically homeless. So hit me up. <laughs> sure. I, uh, I'm Phil K. That is my time. Thank you, guys. Phil K. Everybody who.